o'clock, seven o'clock. Okay, this meeting is being recorded. Okay, welcome, welcome. Welcome to our seven o'clock power hour. I wanna, or six o'clock, I guess, for those of you who are Westish Coast. I wanted to um, just share a tiny little bit before we start. Um, but for those of you who aren't part of Lisa's and my team and Angie's team, I think Angie's there with Justin and Megan. This is what we do every morning, Monday through Friday. We do an hour long power hour in the morning with whoever can pop on with us. We, we uh, kind of tag team with Angie's team. Angie hosts the power hour from 545 to 645 a.m. And then Lisa and I host one from 7 to 8 a.m. And um, it's really been birthed out of um, what Lisa and I felt like our team needed and what we felt like we needed. Um, I've been reading this book, Atomic Habits by James Clear. And this book is all about, he talks about making, yes, he talks about making 1% pivots, 1% shifts. Um, to, you know, in, in all areas of your life, but but pertaining to business in particular, Lisa and I were talking this this summer actually when we come when we came back from Mexico and we were saying, um, what does our team need? What do we need? And I always feel in the summertime, our teams from Maine, Maine summers are super short. So I'm always like, our teams moved to Zimbabwe. So it's just something to kind of get back. We're like, our team needs to get back into action. I need to get back into action and we need help with our mindset. I need help with my mindset. So this little power hour was birthed out of that. And really this is our 1% pivot. This is our 1% shift. And so um, how we're going to host it today is how we do it every Monday through Friday with no added frills. Usually we're in our bed head and coffee and there's kids waking up and getting husbands out the door to work. But if ever um, you're, you know, you wake up someday and you're like, I don't, I don't know what to do. I don't, I don't know what to do for work. This come back to this power hour. This is very basic. It's basically, we're going to bust our way through about 10 different things, but it's like, it's the bare bones basics of, of the work that we do. And it's, nothing glamorous, it's nothing sexy, but it's it's work. And when we were in Mexico, um, uh, Tarl talked about momentum and he said, we can't, we don't really understand momentum. We don't really understand when it comes and we never, we don't know how long it lasts. All we can do is we can prepare for it and how we prepare for momentum, momentum is by being consistent. And so that's what this is. That's what Lisa and I are doing for our team, for ourselves, because we feel we need it. And so, um, this, you know, every Monday through Friday, these basic things, these breed consistency, this builds confidence and consistency compounds. This gets rid of all the drama, right? If you know you have work that you need to do and you just let it sit over your head all day long, for me, that creates drama in my brain. And so me getting up in the morning and doing this first thing with my fellow bedhead girlies drinking coffee, it just, it just, it gets things out of the way and it gets it done, right? It gets it done for the day and then we can move on and think about other things or, or answer emails, fill in the nooks and crannies of the rest of our day with, with other things. But this gets the bulk of, of, or the beginnings of of the work done anyway and so it is 704 so we're gonna start like the way we always start and I say Lisa would you like to lead us in prayer please <laughs> absolutely well Lord we just thank you for this team father I just pray that you would um, give us a wonderful power hour help us to get much accomplished and to focus help us have laser focus and to uh, really get our minds in the right place Lord and just in faith believing that what we have to offer, both with the business and the products are life-changing and that we can be a blessing to others. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen, amen, amen. So the first thing that we do, uh, which maybe isn't fun for everybody, but we look at our perks. We look at our perks report. And so I'm assuming most of you know how to do that, but if you don't, you go to your back office and on the left-hand side of your screen underneath my business, there is a little button that says perks report. You click on that and then you double click on the days to forfeiture and it shows you who is in danger of losing their perks. You look for the numbers one, two, and three. And we just send a little message to our people. And on those beautiful, glorious days where you have no perks report, where you have nobody who's in danger of losing their points, I always, we'll take five minutes, Lisa, will you time us for five? Um, hopefully you can multitask if I talk just a little bit, but so look at your perks and shoot a message to your people. And a lot of times, I'm assuming I'm talking to professionals if you're on this power hour, <laughs> but a lot of times what I find is when I message my people, especially if I find someone who has like 3000 perks, I'm like, okay, clearly I didn't even know about the perks program. You know what I mean? So I message them and tell them about that. But so I've got three people today, but if those of you, if you don't have any perks, scroll down through and you can see, you can see towards the bottom, scroll past all your forfeited people. 
people. And you can see people, you can see anybody on your team who's adjusted their subscription in the past, I think it's 40 days, and you can see what perks those people have. So message someone who's got some insane high points during this five minutes and say, oh my word, I've got a person that she has 1,460 perks points. And I'm gonna say, oh my word, do you realize you have 1,460 perks points? That's like over $50 worth of product. Actually, it's over $100 worth of product because every 500 perks is worth is about $50. That's so exciting. Were you aware of this? This free product, I'd love to help you. What are you gonna order next time? I would love to help you uh, cash in your free products. That, that's so exciting. And nine times out of 10 people are like, I had no idea. So I'm gonna mute and I'm gonna message my three people. Lisa, will you tell us when the five minutes is over? And if you have questions, ask. Amy. Yeah. Morning, Libby. Did, good morning. How did you say we get to see everybody else's perks? So you don't get to see everybody's perks, but you get to see anybody who's who's adjusted their subscription in the past 40 days. Okay. So, so okay. just scroll down past your forfeited people, and then you'll see, you know, I've you know, it's a bunch of just tons of people who've and adjusted. Right. Yeah. So it's not everybody on your team, but it's anybody who's adjusted. So that's just an opportunity to check in with your people. And I check in with my people who have really high perks points. Okay. Thanks. Hey, Amy, did, do you do more than your level ones? Well, when I, do, you mean the for people who are in danger or people just to shoot them a little fun message? Um, if they're forfeiting their perks. Yep, I look at who whoever is on my team of, is forfeiting their perks. And if they're level, my level ones, I message them directly. And if they're deeper, I'll message their immediate leader first. And if their immediate person isn't working at all, or she's just a happy wholesaler herself, then I will um, get their phone number from my back office and I'll text them if I'm not Facebook friends with them. Okay. Can you see their inf I'm on my phone. Can you see, I try to put their, like, press their name and it doesn't do a drop down. No, it doesn't on your perks. You've got to, you've got to take their name. Like I've got oh. a Denise Williams, so then I have to go back to um, points and rank up. Okay, I actually you, see this. You can see their sponsor, but if you don't know who their sponsor is, then yeah. Okay. Lise, how are we for time? A uh, couple more minutes. We're okay. almost done. Okay.
Okay, time is up. Okay, so that is just a nice way, like once you do your perks, like the people who are in danger, just taking a little bit of time every day and messaging even just two or three people who've got some crazy high perks points. It's just a nice touch point to check in with your people to love on them a little bit and you're not asking them for anything. You're telling them about something really cool. You're like, oh, but I just messaged a girl that has 2000 perks points. I'm like, do you know, you have like, that's like $200 worth of free product. How exciting is that? Like, I would love to show you how to cash those in if you don't know how to do it but that's amazing that's plexus rewarding you just for ordering so consistently i love that okay second thing we're going to do is birthdays and since libby nelson is on this call i'm going to have her unmute and share it's actually a little brainchild from these two sideline besties sally and libby how they do their birthdays has revolutionized how i do my birthdays and so it's just a really fun little way to love on people and so do one of you want to unmute and share what you do and then we'll go into birthdays, Lisa. We'll take like five-ish minutes for that too. Do you want me to, Sally? Okay. Well, let me find one. I um. So what I do is I send. Um, I'm trying to find my, my messages. I send this little birthday message to people. I find it's a touch point, um, and it doesn't matter if I don't know them, you know, personally or whatever. So this is an example. Happy birthday, Leanne. I hope you're having a wonderful day. This is in Messenger that I'm doing it. First, I go on to Facebook, and I do like a GIF you know, some kind of a pretty happy birthday. And then I say, happy birthday, whoever it is. And then I do on Messenger, happy birthday, Leanne. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Did you have any special plans? And I usually put in a heart emoji or something. And if I do know them and I know they're doing something special, I might add a line that personalizes it a little more. Then I say, I've been sharing Plexus samples with my Facebook friends with birthdays would you like one as well and i put a bunch of emojis on it that would be um to, you know personal to them like a, a horse or a dog or flowers or something and like for instance this one said answered me this was back in september what is plexus i'm curious so i say sure you know plexus is a line of naturally i do the little elevator speech um, and then she's like, absolutely, thank you. And I say, I just need your, your awesome, I just need your mailing address. And she gives me her mailing address and I send her either one sample or it depends on the person, I might send two. But this, I, and then I always include, I'm not using the Plexus Engage app because I do a personalized note in with it. And I send a brochure, the Triplex brochure, and that's what I do. And I'm actually talking to somebody right now and it all started with this message, sending her a sample. She went to the event that we had last, the Facebook event we had last week, and she is close, but not quite. It, uh, so it does work, and it gives you a touch point, like I said. And even if they're not interested right now, you got to, you got, you got to talk to them. You had a reason to talk to them, and you could explain about plexus if they didn't understand it and you can you have a reason to follow up okay is that good amy yeah that's great and if you're not comfortable or if you're like i just i don't i can't afford to send a sample to all my birthday people you craft a birthday message however way you want to but this is yeah. just a really fun i think it's a super fun could you maybe um would you be able to be able to put your text in our chat thread libby yeah so okay which, which one which like on chat? this zoom, <laughs> on this zoom chat right here <laughs> and then we'll set the timer the and we'll the gold Just, plus leaders? No, no, no. This Zoom chat thread right here. Oh, oh, what's the matter with me? Oh, never mind. It's early. <laughs> okay. So we'll mute and we'll take about five minutes to do that. Oh, sorry. sorry. I love you, Lib. You know what? Okay. I don't think that um, I'm on my iPad and then I'm doing this on. I am not techie. I don't know if I can put it in there. Sally, can okay. you? That's fine. And Megan's putting, Megan's putting some verbiage for Perks Points, Perks Report too. Sally. Okay, I'm getting, can you copy and paste and put it into the into the Zoom message? Good. 
question. Um, I don't, I'm on my iPad, so. <laughs> me too. Yeah, me too. Uh, it... Hey, I'll type something in the chat thread. No worries. <laughs> I'll type what I do. <laughs> Amy, I'll, I'll, I'll copy and paste it into, um, into our regular messenger chat thing, and then you can take it from there. I have a question about um, verbiage for when people say, well, what is plexus? And in a, like a small amount of words, what do we say? I'm so sorry, this is, oh, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Libby. So this is what I said to this gal that said, what is plexus? I'm curious. I said, plexus is a line of natural, mostly plant-based supplements that address our gut health. Many good things happen with our health when we get our gut microbiome back in balance i'm very passionate about it now would you like me to send you a sample ha you know happy face i'll i'll put that in it in i'll copy this one too stacy i send messages before seven i send messages late at night the only thing that i don't do is text i usually wait till like <laughs> normal waking hours like I don't know, between 7 and a.m. and 9 p.m. to send a text, depending on how I know them. Like if I know that they're up, then I might send them. But if I'm on Facebook Messenger, I go ahead and send.
Okay, our time's kind of starting to get away from us. So Lisa, do you want to go and do the next thing? I know that we're not probably going to get everything done all the time, you know, in this time. So this is kind of like bing, 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 but at least starts things for us. It kind of jump starts things to do. So perks, birthdays, next. Yes. Okay. So now we're going <clears> to, <throat> excuse me, now we're going to send um, the one of the videos that the 25 minute videos that were belief building that we've just done, we're going to send one of those to three of our dream teamers and three um, team members. So that can right. be three dream team members. Right. Like, so someone who's not on our team yet. Right. That's the scary That's thing. What I said. That's what oh, I, said. I just yeah. started reading. Yeah. And also to three um, current people on your team that need to have belief built. And I'm sure there's lots of people like that. So three and three, but don't, don't start out with your team, <laughs> start out with your dream teamers because it can be scary. So uh, set the timer for that. So you're saying to do the scary ones first. Yeah, do the scary first. Okay, let's do it. Megan, can you pop the, the link to those videos in the thread for us? You need to unmute Megan. Oh, maybe she's not talking to us. Never mind. I thought she was talking to us. <laughs> um, so just to give context for these two, like I'm, I'm actually sitting here being like, I don't have a new dream teamer that I, that I'm thinking of for a while. I, I cause I send mine, I, I send things all the time to dream teamers. So I'm like literally praying like, Lord, bring people to my brain, bring people to my mind who would be so awesome at this, you know? And so uh, it's good to have a running list of people that you're just having conversations with. But sometimes I do think sometimes we come up with, with a little bit dry and like, ah, uh, I don't have any new people yet. And so I, I preached to the choir when I preached to myself, like that's why it's, we have so many conversations with so many people, right? And that's why we get involved in lots of different groups and things like that. So um, sometimes my brain is blank, you know, and so I'll just, you know, loop back to someone who I've been talking to for years and just say, Hey, we did some of these beautiful 25 minute events a couple of weeks ago. And I'm just going to send one to you because you know what I, how I feel about you. And I would love for you to watch it and just tell me what you think. Hey, one more thing too, that I've done. Those of us that have been sharing for any length of time, I, it, it takes time, but sometimes I'll go through my messenger app and just go and scroll way back. And I have found messages that I've either forgotten to respond to or someone that's reached out. And that's also some, uh, sometimes some low hanging fruit because I'll, and I did that one of our power hours, I was like, oh my gosh, I reached out to this person and said, I'm so sorry, I didn't see this. So anyways, that's just, that's another opportunity to try and find some people that you could share it with.
I'm going to just share with you a little message that I'm sending some, to someone who I've talked to off and on since the day I started six years ago. Okay. And so just to give you a co context, sometimes I hesitate to write verbatim what I put in a thread, because if we all have mutual friends, I think that's what makes it super weird. If it's a message is copy and pasted verbatim and shared with somebody on the chance that a mutual friend gets the identical message from two friends from Plexus. That's when I think network marketing feels a little slimy. <laughs> so anytime ever we see a message shared, I think it's always super important to tweak it always to make it sound like you and at least change it up a little bit. Even the birthday messages, switch them up a little bit because we all have a lot of mutual friends. But this is where I'm going to send one of the 25 minute videos to someone, to just a friend who I went to college with back in the day. Morning, sweet friend, happy fall. I'm sending you a little 25 minute testimony event that I would love for you to watch and tell me your thoughts. You know how much I love you and the influence I know you have. It would be a dream for me to have you on my team. And I'm going to shoot the message to her and she'll probably shoot me down again, but it's a not yet. <laughs> okay, so our timer technically went off, so I'll set it for five more minutes. Amy? Yes. Can you repeat can you repeat that that message that you just did? I wasn't like totally listening. Can you repeat what you just said? Gary Anna. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so this is to a friend who we have a, re you know, we have a pretty established relationship. Well, yeah. ish. I mean, we went to college morning, sweet friend, happy fall. I'm sending you a little 25 minute testimony event that I would love for you to watch and tell me your thoughts. You know how much I love you and the influence I know you have. It would be a dream for me to have you on my team. Okay. Thanks. And then in these last five minutes, take them and send them to maybe a brand new person on your team who is maybe has caught a little tiny vision of like she's fall, she's fallen in love with the products, or um, maybe it's someone who you just know um, could be amazing at this business. And and it's the, it's both and right. It's finding new fruit and new people, but then it's building belief and, re and breathing hope into your existing people. So I'm going to send that video to two of my girls who have been with us for a long time, but have just for whatever reason, caught the vision and started sharing again. And they're level four and five for me. So they don't benefit me a ton, but it doesn't matter, right? They're, they're excited and they want to share again. And also, do you want to share, Amy, what one of your favorite videos what is? I don't think we shared that. Well, to be super honest and shoot super straight with you all, I only watched the first one with Krista Deary in it. That's so yeah. what do you say? So, yeah, so what you said. Yeah. And so um, that's the one I'm sending. But to my people who are on my team currently, I'm sending, I've got a message where it's just the three V, the three VIP calls that are just boom, boom, boom. And I'm sending all three of those in a, you know what I mean? To my people on my team to say, Hey, we hosted these little events a couple of weeks ago. They are amazing. Like, I know you're just starting to share. I want to, I want to help build belief for what could be. And so just check these out when you're doing laundry or driving to work, like they are amazing and they will bless you. But I'm just sending one to dream teamers. I was going to add to that, that the video that has Jennifer Leith in it, the last one is excellent on not just the business opportunity, but on explaining like the triplex and whatnot, because she's so good. So that the last one is really good. Danielle just seconded that because I know this is being recorded so people can't see the chat, but she said Jen Leith explained the business aspect of it really wonderfully too. 
The first one, Krista Deary just shares her heart so beautifully and she gets, I love her so much and she's so emotional. It's just really sweet and beautiful. So I think the balance of both, sorry, I muted myself, is really good. Okay, keep working while I'm talking. So when I do things like this, when we send videos like this, I always try to, I'm trying to think of both sides. I'm trying to think of, like I said earlier, sending to new people who've maybe never heard of Plexus or who I want on my team or who I'm just introducing to Plexus and then to people who are already on my team because we are paid to hold hope high, right? That's our job. That's what we're paid to build belief into, or as Megan says, to be little sparklers. We're paid to be little sparklers to our team. <laughs> And so it's always both, right? And so whenever we're doing these, I'm always like, okay, I want to take this, this chunk of time. I'm going to do this to non-existent Plexus teammates and to Plexus teammates, okay? And so, um, ah, my word, we only have 25 minutes left. Okay, so if you haven't sent this all to all of your people yet, just this is when you have nooks and crannies of your day too, right? You feel like, oh, I could thought of somebody else I could send this to. What I want us to do now is I want us to check in with three people on our team already. And I want us to offer to host an event for them. Okay. And so if you have done that a thousand times already and your team is little, loop back and ask them again. <laughs> um, and you can even say, a girl on my team last week, she's a level five for me. So again, not a lot of points, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to work with who's willing to work. She has restarted again. She's just been a happy wholesaler. She's restarted again. And she and her sister wanted to do a little event together. And her sister added four people from that event. And then a person who was on their team years ago, back when they were sharing years ago, was invited to the event and she watched them kind of restart again. And she messaged me today and said, okay, I want to start again too. I want to play again too. So this little fairly deep level has a team that's kind of awakened from their sleep <laughs> because one girl hosted an event. Okay. And so you just never know. You never know. And at some point it'll be one of my level ones who wants to do that. <laughs> so we're going to message three of our people. It doesn't matter who they are. And we're going to say, Hey, I would love, I'm hosting these little events for my team this week. And I would love to host one for you, either a 15 minute messenger event or a little 30 minute online Facebook event. I will do all the work for you. Just you invite all of your people. Would that be something that you would like to do? I had someone on my team last week who, who let me do that for her. And she had four new people join and some past teammates restart again. And so I'd love for that, that to, I'd love for that to maybe be, be something for you. Okay. If they say no, we will not die, but they won't probably come to us and say, Hey, would you host an event for me? <laughs> so we have to do that for them. Right. And it is work for us, but it's worth it for us too. So that's the next five minutes, Liesl. And I also say, I would love to um, offer to pay, I will pay anyone's $10 join fee who wants to order from you. And I'll also do some fun sample giveaway prizes during the event. All you have to do is invite your people. And then if they say yes, I say, okay, what, what night and time would work for you? I want to make sure that you have enough time to invite at least 30 to 50 people because that might get us three to five people to come. If they're not willing to do that, then I'm not going to spend my, I'm not going to waste my time if they only invite five people. Okay.
One more thing. I wanted to do this towards the end of the the end of the power hour, but it might work now as well. Just to give you an idea, if you go, I don't do this too often. Um, if you go to your back office, you can see if you look under the fast start tab, you can see who on your team is um, eligible to get a fast start bonus. Those would be the people I would reach out to. Um, if you scroll down all the way to the bottom, it's the ones who are fast start 30. It'll start with your your um, gold, senior gold, but down to the bottom. Um, so those are people, and it'll tell you how many days they have to the next goal. So you could say, you know, you got, you still have two weeks where if we hosted a little event for you and you got three people to join you in these next two weeks, you could make a hundred dollar silver bonus, a hundred dollar fast start bonus. Lexus is also paying us 50 bucks for every two people who join our team this month, plus a $20 business building bonus for every person who joined you, plus a $15 <laughs> pay point. So you can make over $400 this month. Do you want to, you want to just see what could happen? But that's where you can find your people. Amy, can you put that verbiage in the Zoom chat? Well, I speak it, so it's off the top of my head, but I can um, try to. <laughs> I always voice message that to my people. I want them to hear my heart. I want them to hear my voice, and I want them, I feel like sometimes a, a written one, like, hey, let me host an event for you. Come work the business with me. That sounds weird. If Lisa had said that to me when I first started, I would have been like, you're weird. No. So, but if I, you know, if I say it something more casual with my voice, it says, hey, I'd love to host this little learning event for you. Would that be super fun? You, you know, whatever. I'll, I can try to type some verbiage here. I'm not oh, good I can try to voice it to people. <laughs> I'll suck I it up. Like, I think you should voice it. <sighs> okay. Megan also puts the October graphic um, in there as well so they can see the money potential. That's a really smart idea. Okay, Danielle, because I love you, I'm gonna uh, unmute myself and I'm gonna let you hear me voice message one of my people, okay? Because it's always a little bit different, but I'm just gonna, off the cuff, okay, message one of my people. I'm gonna, um, okay. Let me find her before I, all right. Hey, sweet friend, I'm just looking in my back office and I'm seeing that you, have like 11 days left before you your first month of ordering Plexus is over. I don't know if I told you when you first signed up, but if you found three friends to try these products with you, uh, just like you did with me, um, you would make a $100 silver bonus. But if you did it in your first month, you'd make another $100 bonus on top of that, in addition to tons of other bonuses. So we have 11 days to make that happen if you kind of wanted to do that. I would love to host a little 30 minute learning event for you. Um, if you found anybody who wanted to try these products, I would love to pay their join fee. And I would offer a bunch of fun samples during the party. We'd make it really fast educational I try to make it fun and just I would do all the educating all you would have to do is invite your people is that something you might like to do like in the next week or so dun, 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 dun. not beautiful but that's it
Or to keep it even more simple, here's another one, okay? Hey, sweet Peggy. Hey, I would love to host a little 30 minute learning event for you and your people. Is that something you might be interested in doing? I would love to help you get your products paid for and maybe even help you get a little more income on top of that. Um, I've been hosting these little events for people on our team this month. It's been really fun. And all you have to do is invite your people and then I'll do all the work and give away a bunch of free samples. And if they were interested in joining, I'd sign them up under you and pay their join fee for them. So is that something you thought you might wanna do? Dun, da, da, da. Okay, where are we at for time, Liesl? We're about done. If we want to take like a couple more minutes to, from the inspiration, we can do that. From the inspiration. Okay, we'll take a couple more minutes. Our time, holy Hannah, we only have 15 minutes. Okay, so let's do a couple more minutes and then we'll, yes, because this is good. This is the meat, right? This is the meat of IPA too. So this is good. Another thing that I say a lot of times is I'll say my heart is that nobody on our team should have to pay for their products. And so that's how I can help you. Um, you know, these events can often help people get their products paid for. And I just think that that is such a beautiful thing because if, if we can, if I can take care of the money issue for you, then you can take the products as long as you want to and need to. You know what I mean? And I don't even mention the business aspect because sometimes that comes naturally when they say, holy crap, I got paid $400. How did that happen? And then I say, well, do you know what I mean? But just to, so that they hear my heart, like this is my heart for you is that your products are paid for. And that's what I love to do. And that's what I would love to do for you. One time in our power hours, um, sometimes when you do a power hour, you focus on specific things, right? This is kind of the basics of what we do daily, but there's a couple days last week where we spent almost our entire power hour. If you've not done this yet, you still have a couple weeks before the month is over. Megan just reminded me, messaging, going back to message all of your previous preferred customers who've ever ordered from you, because this month they can purchase a, um, 
a welcome pack this only this month. And what we also just found out was it doesn't matter what their ordering history is in the past. If they purchase a welcome pack, they count as a new level one for you and they count for success sprints prizes for you, which we use the contest. We didn't think that we didn't realize that before. So that would be a, a, something to spend a good chunk of time on at some point if you haven't done that yet, just looping back to all your previous preferred customers. And that's also really good customer service. And that's good um, loving your people well, because that's a gift to them that they can for this. It's a gift from Plexus. They're grandfathered in and they have this month if they want to be able to purchase a welcome pack at a one time less than wholesale discount, even cheaper than what we can purchase. Um, they can do that this month. And then we would love to help you do that if that's something you were interested in doing. And we'd love to show you some different welcome pack options if that's something that you would like. Okay, so we can move on to that now because we've taken up that time. So we can just move on to that and I'll add the timer. Okay, we'll do five minutes for that and then we'll do a couple little um, commenting things to wrap ourselves up.
Okay, let's take the last five minutes to just do a little bit of commenting and to get algorithms kind of boosted and to um, give each other a little bit of love on our posts, things like that. So Angie Ambrosetti taught me this beautiful thing during one of her power hours where we comment, I give credit where credit is due, um, comment on um, some posts, like some of our, our most recent friends' posts. And so I was always like, I don't know how to find my newest friends. I just scroll Facebook and kind of comment on posts as they come up. So what she, how she taught me Angie, do you want to speak? Do you want to share? She doesn't. Okay. <laughs> so if you want to know like how to find like your newest friends, so go to your, like the home page of your Facebook and click on the little three dots to the right. Maybe you guys all know this already. Click on the three lines, I mean, and then click on your friends box. And then up at the tippy top, don't click on see all, but click on the tippy top where it says all friends, click on all friends and sort and you sort by your newest friends first and shazam, you have a list of all of your newest friends who you just recently added, what? So take like, let's take just a couple minutes and let's do a couple things, okay? Let's comment on maybe five of your newest friends who you added, just go and comment on their wall on their most recent post. Then let's add three new friends, because we should always be adding three new friends, and then look at these beautiful faces on this Zoom right here and go comment on one of your person's, like, I'm gonna, I see Jerry Anna, I'm gonna go comment on Jerry Anna's most recent post, just to give her a little bit of love, okay? So it's good to set a set amount of time every day to boost algorithms, okay? And you can do that all different ways, but commenting on your newest friends, adding three friends, um, um, tagging somebody in your, if you have a customer page, things like that. Um, things like that, that boosts algorithms. And that's good to do before you make a post for the day. So you do that first, and then you should always make a post and a stories for the day, but you save that for the end of your work. Because if you do that first, guarantee that will take up probably 45 minutes of your power hour. <laughs> and so we have like three minutes left. So that is what we're gonna do on the last little bit of our time today.
Hey guys, it's eight o'clock, so I don't know. I feel like we probably have to honor the hour, right? If Megan's sharing this on all of Tamara's page. <laughs> Let me say one more thing before I get off, okay? Uh, a challenge to those of you who are watching this Zoom or who are going to watch it later. Um, the importance of having battle buddies in this business, right? I'm looking at my Sally and my Libby who run hard together. I'm looking at Lisa and Angie and I who run hard together. If you don't have a battle buddy in this line, um, it can be lonely. And, and you need someone who can lift your arms when you feel like, what the heck am I even doing? <laughs> and then, and have you be able to lift their arms too. A lot of times I hop on Angie's 545 power hour because of the seven o'clock one that Lisa and I lead. Sometimes I don't get as much work done, but there are many days that I wouldn't hop on that, but because I know Angie's going to be on there, I hop on, you know what I mean? And there's many times when Lisa and I <laughs> will have these conversations where we're like, are you going to quit? I won't quit if you won't quit. <laughs> so... <laughs> So just having that person where you can be honest and real with and you can link arms together and because we need that we need that in all of life but because this is so virtual this can feel so lonely and the battle is won or lost right here right in our minds and so we need each other so desperately I think more than in any other line of work probably so and that's honestly why we started these morning power hours for our team Lisa and I we were like we need this we didn't even see each other hardly anymore so at least, at least we're gonna see each other's bedhead faces every seven o'clock in the morning Monday through Friday <laughs> so so, um, you know, find someone who you can do that with, find someone who you can do that with. And it may take a while to find the right person, but, um, it is well worth it. And it, it is the secret to longevity. I do believe that. All right. Do you want to add anything to that least before we cut off? No, totally agree. Love it. Thanks Love it. everybody for hopping on. All right. Blessings on you guys. Bye.